So you guys know that I'm a sucker for anything that even remotely has to do with 80s metal. I love 80s metal music, and of course I love 80s metal guitars. And what is more 80s metal than a green crackle finish? I mean, look at this thing. It's got the green crackle finish all around the guitar, and it's got blacked out hardware and a dark ebony fretboard. It's like this thing is filled with kryptonite. Now this guitar is from 10S Guitars. I checked out another kind of Explorer type guitar from them a few months ago. And I think what's really cool about this guitar is it's not just another Les Paul knockoff. I mean, it's got this really cool finish, but it also has some really cool specs that really make it stand out. 10S Guitars has kind of become known for making custom shop-like guitars, but at production guitar prices, which is of course, why I'm so interested in the brand is the stuff is pretty affordable considering what you're getting. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to checking this thing out. So let's plug it in and get started. Okay, so you guys are seeing this awesome finish right now, even on the back there. I'll go ahead and give you guys some close-up shots so you can get a really good look at this. But also, let's, let's talk about the specs of this guitar because they are actually really good. So as far as materials go, the body itself is mahogany. Under this green crackle finish, there's actually a maple top on this guitar. Now the neck is maple, and then it's got this beautiful dark ebony fretboard on here. And as you can see, it's got no fret inlays on the fretboard here. So it's just this black ebony with the black hardware and the green crackle finish. It gives this sort of 80s sinister vibe to it. But now regarding the inlays, what's really cool about this is up on the top of the neck here, they do have these side dot markers. And these are these sort of like lumen lay, they call them side dot markers. So these actually glow in the dark. The whole point of that is so you can see what fret you're on when you're playing on like a dark stage before the lights come up. Anybody who's gone through that experience where you rehearse with the lights on and then you go and play a show and there's no lights on and suddenly you can't see your fretboard, this is a total lifesaver when it comes to that problem. Now the neck has a 14 inch radius on it. So it's a pretty nice blend between curved and flat. And then we've got 22 medium jumbo frets. And these frets are, are done really, really nicely. They've got a nice polish to them. Up here on the headstock, we've got a bone nut and a nice set of Grover tuners there. Now the other thing I gotta show you on the back of this guitar. I mean, guys, look at this neck joint here. This is awesome. Look how your hand just sits in there so perfectly. I mean, this is a really, really nice uh, addition to a classic design. And of course, the crackle finish just continues right from the neck, right across that neck joint onto the back of the body. Now, for the controls and hardware, it's a classic setup. We've got two volumes and two tones, a three-way toggle switch, stop tail bridge and tail piece. We've got a pair of Alnico 5 humbuckers. Now, this guitar looks and feels pretty beefy. Uh, but something they did, which is really cool, is the body is chambered. So it's going to reduce the weight a little bit, which is nice. Now, that being said, this guitar still weighs right around 9 pounds. I weighed this one just before I started doing the video, and it was like 8.8 .8 pounds. But if it wasn't chambered, this thing would be up around 10 or 11 pounds. All right, so again, I love the 80s-inspired green crackle finish, but can we get some 80s tones out of this guitar as well? Well, we'll go ahead and plug it in and find out. Now I'm gonna use my uh, Fender GTX 100 amplifier for this demo. I'm also gonna use my Morley Bad Horsey 2 wah pedal, which is a great, class. it's the Steve Vai signature wah pedal. So definitely, hopefully we can get some 80s tones from that. Now real quick guys, if you enjoy videos like this, you enjoy checking out cool affordable guitars and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. All right, I've got a feeling this is gonna sound really good, but let's go ahead and plug it in and find out.
All right, guys, so now what did you think of that tone? As far as the playability goes, it's very easy to play. The fretboard feels really good. The frets are done really nicely. Now the neck profile on this is kind of like a, I mean, it's a C shape, but it's like kind of a thinner C shape. So it's, it's not too deep, but it still has a rounded feeling, especially around the, the shoulders of the neck on the back here. I definitely like the sound of the pickups. They're very high output, so it makes the guitar very responsive. And it's also easy to get some nice harmonics in there on higher gain settings. But I think overall, the sound of the guitar matches the look of the guitar really well, if you guys know what I mean. I mean, this guitar definitely lends itself to playing heavier styles of music. I think if it was up to me, the only thing I would really maybe change on the guitar is, you know, the headstock compared to the rest of the guitar is a little bit uh, understated, I guess. I mean, they've got the 10S logo up on top there, but I, I think I might swap out the truss rod cover for something with like a little a logo on it, or maybe like if you could find like a green one that would match the color of the crackle, that'd be cool. But overall, I mean, this thing just looks amazing. Okay, now price-wise, 10S Guitars has a lot of guitars that are around the sort of like $400 to maybe $700 range. This guitar is right in there. I'm seeing it uh, on sale like right now for like around 500 bucks. And you can get these on Reverb or you know a lot of standard online places. And I wanna mention that when I got this guitar, I just took it out of the box and tuned it and plugged it in. I haven't done any setup work on it. And that's how you're hearing it. Uh, in this video. All I really did was tune it. So I'll put a link in the video description for where you can find this guitar and also guys I'm gonna have a link down there to the backing tracks that I was using in this video. Those are from a YouTube channel called Backing Tracks by Tim. He's got some really cool stuff on there that I've been really digging a lot lately. Now if there's anybody else out there who owns a 10S guitar I would love to hear what you think of the guitar that you own. It's really helpful for me and also for the uh, other people who are interested in these guitars. And yeah guys that's it. Just overall if you're looking for, you know, a Les Paul style 80s inspired guitar with, you know, a really nice beefy tone to it, I think this is going to be a really good choice for you. So, as always guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you soon.